This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 617, Five Ways to Step Forward When You're Scared to Death, by Mark Chernoff of markandangel.com, and I'm Justin Mollick, the guy that reads blog posts to you, along with four other narrators across all five of our shows. And this is with permission from the authors, of course. Speaking of our other narrators, Lee from Optimal Living Daily Business and Startups and Joss from Optimal Living Daily Relationships are coming in and visiting California for a couple of weeks. They're coming in tomorrow, which is awesome. I haven't seen Lee in about two and a half years, although we have contact multiple times a week since he's my partner with these podcasts. And his wife, Joss, it's been even longer. The last time I saw her was for a mutual friend's wedding four years ago. That was in Portland, so it's been a while. And I'm excited to see them and their baby, who I haven't met yet. Anyway, lots of extra info here. Let's get right to today's post as we optimize your life. Five Ways to Step Forward When You're Scared to Death by Mark Chernoff of markandangel.com. Quote, do one thing every day that scares you. Eleanor Roosevelt. Fear is the most powerful single factor that deprives you of being able to achieve your full potential. You experience it most often as a result of your own thoughts and emotional visions rather than actual real world causes. In other words, you become fearful of a fantasy, something that doesn't exist. Fear is a cloaked enemy that whispers negative thoughts into your mind, body, and soul. It tries to convince you that you will not succeed and that you cannot achieve your full potential. These thoughts are lies. The road you are traveling may be a bit scary at times, but don't lose faith. Don't listen to your fears and the fears of those around you. Don't let old setbacks work their way into your present thinking. And most of all, don't give up on what's important to you. It's fine to feel a bit uncomfortable. It's okay if you don't know exactly what's going to happen next or how much you can handle. As long as you gradually step forward, you will learn what you need to know. You will let go of the scary things that might happen and start to see all the great realities unfolding around you. This is your life and it's an open road. Grab the wheel with both hands and keep steering yourself around all the unnecessary fears and uncertainties as they arise. Here's how. Number one, Envision and declare what you want. Regardless of fear or actual real-world barriers, whenever you want to achieve something, you have to envision it and declare it. You have to keep your eyes open and focus specifically on what you want. It's simply impossible to hit a target you haven't declared or get anywhere worthwhile with your eyes closed and your vision blurred. The first step is realizing that what you want to achieve is already a big part of who you are. You may be a novice just beginning a great journey, or you may be a veteran who hasn't yet realized her dream. Either way, the fact that you haven't attained your desired result yet doesn't make you any less of a force to be reckoned with. In other words, if you wanna run a marathon, you are a marathon runner, you just need to run. If you wanna be a writer, you are a writer, you just need to write, etc. It's only ever a matter of training, studying, and practicing. Whatever it is you want to do, envision it and declare it out loud. I am going to blank. Read 1,000 Little Things Happy Successful People Do Differently. And then start doing it. Number two, know the consequence staying where you are. What would life be if we had no courage to attempt anything? It wouldn't be. Life is movement. Inaction based on fear not only stops you from achieving, it stops you from living. Your future depends on what you do today. The fear of failure or whatever can be daunting, but it's nowhere near as bad as a realization of looking back on great opportunities you never took. Don't be satisfied with telling stories others have lived. Write your own story your way. Number three, believe. What you believe either weakens you or makes you stronger. If you wanna give yourself the best gift you could ever receive, believe in yourself. The foundation of the success you desire is not based on being in a certain place at a certain level of achievement or a combination of external factors. It is simply a mindset. Success is an attitude that comes from powerful beliefs and empowering thoughts. What you think and believe about your life directly determines how you feel, what actions you take, and what you ultimately achieve. Believing takes practice, but it also makes the impossible possible. Is it worth the effort? Absolutely. Read the success principles. Number four, take it slow, but go. Yes, take a step and another. Keep going. Achievement involves lots of doing. 
What you achieve is based on what you believe and what you act upon, not just what you believe. You've got to take your beliefs and put persistent effort into them. There is no progress without action. What is not started today is never finished by tomorrow. Some of the greatest ideas and dreams die young. Why? Because the genius behind the idea or dream fails to go forward with it. They think about it, but never do anything about it. Just remember, no action always results in a 100% failure rate. So get into action now and begin moving in the right direction. After you get started, every step thereafter gets easier and easier until what once has seemed light years away is suddenly standing right in front of you. Read The Power of Habit. Number five, accept that failure is possible and necessary. As Winston Churchill once said, quote, success is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm, unquote. Failure is necessary. On the path towards success, you may encounter many failures, but you are not a failure. Failures are simply stepping stones that slowly uncover the correct path forward, one slippery step at a time. You can't get anywhere without these steps. So don't wake up at 80 years of age sighing over what you should have tried but didn't because you were scared to fail. Just do it and be willing to fail and learn along the way. Very few people get it right on the first shot. In fact, most people fail to get it right on the first 20 shots. If what you did today didn't turn out as you had hoped, Tomorrow is a new opportunity to try again and build upon what you've learned. And remember, in the end, the greatest thing about your journey is not so much where you stand at any given time as it is about what direction you're moving. Closing thoughts. Don't be afraid of facing your fears. They're not as scary as you think and they're not here to stop you. They're here to let you know that what you want is worth fighting for. You just listened to the post titled Five Ways to Step Forward When You're Scared to Death by Mark Chernoff of markandangel.com. That's a popular post. It has like 80 comments on it. I really loved it. Hopefully you found value in it too. I'm gonna keep this ending really short because I gotta prepare for Lee and Joss's arrival tomorrow. Then we're going to Podcast Movement, which I believe is the biggest podcast conference all year, taking place near Disneyland, which is pretty close to where I live. We actually might go to Disneyland on Monday or Tuesday next week. So I got to run. I hope you're having a great weekend. Have a great day and I'll be back tomorrow where your optimal life awaits. Hey, this is Dan from the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast, which is a lot like this show, except more focused on personal finance. Justin handpicks the best posts he can find from blogs and authors like Ramit Sethi, Mr. Money Mustache, and more, and I read them to you five days a week. So if you enjoy this podcast, come on over and subscribe to Optimal Finance Daily too. And together, we'll optimize your financial life. You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us, and remember, your optimal life awaits.